Oh. Yes? It's just that I saw you go into the dressing room, and I didn't realize you were... So tall? <laughs> no, a man. I didn't realize you were a man. Actually, I'm a woman. Is there a problem? Look, we sell women's clothing to real women. And in my opinion, you don't qualify. Transgender rights are a hot-button issue all across the country and front-page news here in North Carolina. But today, this transgender woman is simply trying to buy a new outfit. When she's refused service, do you side with her right to say yes to the dress or with the sales clerk's right to say no sale? What would you do? This is a woman's boutique, so would you please take off the dress before you ruin it? We shot this same scenario with Jennifer a few months ago, up north in New Jersey. Sir, can you just please stop bothering our other customers? She, first of all, she's not bothering me. It fits her perfectly, and I'm offended by what you're saying. You're not beautiful, lady. Thank you. But today, Jennifer is 600 miles south, shopping at Splurge Boutique in Charlotte. Can I help you with something? Oh, I didn't realize you're... What? Is this 40% off? Yes, one item is 40% off. Okay. But I, I'm not selling that item to you. I'm sorry? I didn't realize you were a man. And right away, these women find those comments an uncomfortable fit. What are you saying? She's gonna ruin the dress. You're horrible. What a horrible human being you are to say that to someone. I, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry this happened to you. You're okay with this? Not only am I okay with it, I would support anybody who wants to be who she is. So yes, you're really hurting her soul. This is who she is. Let her be who she is. Let her whisper, but she's a man. He is a man. If she believes and feels out as a woman, she has every right to call herself that. You seem to have no understanding whatsoever about these gender issues. Maybe you should learn something. How are you? It's, what would you do? Oh my God, okay. oh my God, okay. I think that these days, people are changing all over, slowly, but I think when people start to become friends with somebody who's transgender, or know somebody, or have a family member, I think if anybody has ever felt any discrimination in any way, then they learn that, hey, you know, that could be me. Back in the store. Thank you. Some shoppers offer Jennifer words of advice. I wouldn't give them my money if I were you. Take your money somewhere else. Others offer encouragement. I'm so sorry. Thank you. I think you look beautiful. And you have the right to dress however you want. Uh, and you. to be whatever you want. Thank you. Sir, I need you to leave. This woman is uncomfortable with both the transgender Everyone shopper and the worker's handling of the situation. Her advice? Get Jennifer out of the store. I just want him to leave. Threaten him? Yeah, I'm going to call the police. If I, if I said I was going to call the police? don't wait, that would work. This customer stays focused on Jennifer's goal to buy that new dress. I'm sorry. And, and Can I help you? I just don't know what to do. Thank you. Before she buys that dress for Jennifer, this is yours. We step in. You offered to buy her dress? Why? Um, I don't know. I, I'm not sure I would do that on any other day. I just felt compelled to do it. I'm not sure I have a specific opinion about what's right or wrong. I just know that how are you supposed to treat people, no matter what. We roll again. I'm sorry, but you're a, a man. This family watches as the worker refuses Jennifer's request. It's, I can't sell a dress to a man. This is a woman's boutique. And it's the teenager who speaks up. Maybe that guy can show you. And storms out. Now you see people are leaving because of you. No, I'm leaving because of you. You think it's okay? I think you're being unkind. I think you're being so rude to this woman who came in. You're shocked. It's a man. It's a customer. We catch up with them outside. You decided to leave. Yeah, I, I can't be in, I can't tolerate that. You have to treat everyone equally, I mean, and with respect, yeah. We rolled one last time. I didn't realize when I saw you go in the dressing room, but you're a... This man. 
This is a woman's clothing store, and you're a man. Actually, I'm a woman. I'm wearing the dress, and I was asking you a question. Is this some kind of costume? This has got to be a joke. Why aren't you allowing her to buy something she wants to buy something? Because this is a man in a dress. Yeah. This is a person, a human, that deserves dignity, and I cannot believe that you are acting this way and treating this person like this. She's asking a question about the dress, which looks lovely on you, by the way. But look at him. No, no, no. We're in Charlotte, North Carolina in 2017. Do you need to see my genitalia for me to be able to be a customer here? Is that what you need for me to show you my birth certificate to, to make you feel better? It's not acceptable to treat someone like this. That That's discrimination. We are all created in God's image and we deserve to be treated with dignity. And you have you have not allowed that to happen here. And that's... that's Ma'am? Absolutely. Hi. Oh, my gosh. I'm John Quinones. Good lord. <laughs> you okay? Yes. Right away you jumped in. You don't know the woman. No, but I was absolutely disturbed, and I just feel like with this past election that I'm done being quiet. And if I see something happening and I see discrimination happening, I'm going to call it out, and I think we're required to. We need to use our voice and, and speak up.